Alright guys, welcome to the finale of Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. Uh, in the last episode, we figured out who our true identity was and our name, and it turns out we are Sissel and we are a cat. Um, we don't really know much else after that, and I won't hold you guys too long, because I know I left you guys on a cliffhanger like two or three episodes now. Um, but yeah, let's just jump into it. Hey! I think... I think he's starting to remember. I think I finally remember. Ten years ago, I was a little kid that was that wandered into this park. I was weak and all alone in the world. Oh, this is sad as fuck. Hold it! Bang! He showed up. Stand back, I'll shoot this bitch. <laughs> and this whole ordeal happened. And then I got... I'm pretty sure the fishy cat got hit. Somebody please look at me. I'm pretty sure the fishy cat got hit with a fragment, huh? Oh, a kitten. Shoot, you might get hurt. Okay. Oh, and this is the timeline where the fishy cat... Yeah, this is the timeline where the fishy cat was here. Somebody please reach out a hand, a hand out to me. Oh, he just wanted to be pet, bro. I had just only died at that time. I had lost everything. My life, my memory. My body wouldn't move anymore, but I still managed to reach out a hand to him. Oh, this is sad, bro. The next thing I knew, my soul had transferred to the black kitten. With no recollection of who I was, I lived as a cat with you for a while. Meow. Mm. So all of this played out how it should have. After a while, the man regained his memory. I went back to being just a cat, and then the man got his body back. Okay, he, he you know, obviously left and had to get his body. Because he needed the Zemsic fragment. I took my body from back from the morgue. There was somebody I just had to go see. Just one more time. Is that the fishy cat? He went to go see the fishy cat. I took control of my body and hurried to her house. But I was just a little too late. To whose house? I had just missed her as she left this world. She left me a note that said, I'm coming to you, Yomil. Did we fucking kill ourselves? The man named me Sissel. It was the name of something important he had lost, along with his life. His fiance. Mm, he told me about it once, but I didn't understand what it was. That's why we don't know what the fuck things are, because we're a fucking cat. <laughs> Those ten years were very happy for me, but they weren't happy for the man, and there was nothing I could do for him. Mm, that's why we were in the we were in the thing. Yeah, for 10 years, I wandered through the darkness with no particular place to go. As time passed, my powers gradually changed. At first, I could only manipulate small creatures and objects, but then, after a while, I could manipulate people. That's when the darkness inside me deepened, and I started to get a little twisted. Mm, I wanted light. Distorted, artificial light. This is sad, bro. <laughs> Uh, and then this whole situation happened. But who the fuck is Ray? It was Ray there the whole time? Mm. When I got my revenge on Lynn, I could see that light, or at least that's what I tried to believe. Yeah, we you manipulated her and shot us. Bang! And you missed, yeah. And then shot us for real. Damn! I left my old self buried in that junkyard and walked away. That's us. Look at a little fish cat with a score. Meow. The black cat. I was possessing Sissel then. I wouldn't look very much like a murderer if the corpse got up and walked. It wouldn't look very much like a murderer if the corpse got up and walked away after all. So you borrowed the body of your old friend. Yeah, to escape. Sissel was inside that bag I was carrying tonight. I had no intention of leaving my friend behind in this country when I left. But then, when I went to possess his body, I realized something horrible. What was that? Sissel, there inside the bag, was dead. What? Did he die in the bag? Oh, the first shot. Damn! Lin, you took both of us out! Oh, he killed his own homie! That's fucked up. I wasn't able to complete her... I wasn't... Ugh! I wasn't able to control her completely. Damn! 
Yeah, that shot. The first bullet didn't hit anything, or so I thought. But it did hit something, didn't it? Yeah, it hit the fishy cat. It hit Sissel inside that bag. Mm. Yeah, that's when I lost my life. Right there in the presence of Tempsic Radiation. Yeah, we were right next to him. Got it. Okay. That's when I got my powers of the dead, my ghost tricks. Okay, then who the fuck is Ray? I think I understand it now. Why was I the only one who couldn't get his memory back? It was because I thought that corpse was me. It was the only corpse I could see at the time after all. But as it turns out, it wasn't the only dead body. My true death was hiding just behind that corpse. Damn. Yo, Mil, you killed two people, technically. Now that I think about it, do you remember what you said? That you knew all along about me saving Lin tonight. If you knew, why didn't you try to stop me? It's simple. Because I couldn't, even if I wanted to. Huh? Why not? Remember the thing about individual differences in the powers we get? I can't control all kinds of things, from the living to the dead. I can control all kinds of things from the living to the dead. But even so, there are some things that you can do that I can't. You mean... I can't even rewind time, let alone change the fate of death. If I could do those things, I would have saved your life. Mm, not only that, but I never would have just let my fiance stay dead like that. But you're here 10 years in the past now. That's thanks to your powers. I just tagged along with you. Mm. Damn. Okay. So the power to rewind shit is ours in any case. Now the starting point of this entire tragedy has changed dramatically, altering fate. The fate, the fate of your death, the kitten Sissel's fate, and I could just bet you the fate of the woman you love has changed too. Yes, I believe you're right. So this is the last fate to be averted, eh? Fate averted! <laughs> now what? Where do we go from here? Oh my god, I'm sad as fuck, bro. So, Yomil, it looks like your plan for revenge ended in failure. Yes, and I'm glad too. I mean, yeah, right? At the end, everything seems better than what it was. I think I kind of understand now what you've been feeling these 10 years. Sinking to the bottom of the ocean, she understood. She shed tears for me. That's when my revenge was over. She saved me from the darkness. Mmm, you soft. You were spiteful for 10 years! <laughs> Well, I guess it's time we got back. A new 10 years later was just born. Right, we should get back to our new present. I can't wait to see Miss Lynn and Miss Camilla again. So, these past 10 years will now all vanish. Well, not completely. The memories of all of us here will remain, including the memory of what I did, my crime. That's the way this game of the dead works, eh? And no matter what the reason, there's no denying the fact that I took Lynn hostage and tried to point a gun at her. I had no intention of running away from that either. The most inexcusable crime in my new life. Mm. Okay, okay. Hey, Sissel. Yes? When we go back, our fates will no longer be interconnected. It will be like we never met. So before that happens, I just wanted to say one thing. Tonight, I stole away your life with my own hands. I'm truly sorry. Damn. That's already a thing of the lost past. Our fates have changed now, right, Yomil? Thank, thank you, Sissel. I'm so very glad I met you. Me too, Yomil. Oh! <laughs> Sissel, are we ever going to see each other again? I couldn't stand it if we weren't. Don't worry, Missile. I bet we'll see each other again someday. Oh! <laughs> oh! I didn't think this game was going to make me sad, bro. Ten years from now, our paths are sure to cross. We'll just have to wait until then. Sissel, I'll, I'll never forget you. I'll never forget you either, valiant little doggy. Well, it looks like you've come to live with me now. But let's be getting home, little black cat. Home, huh? That sounds good, Detective Jod. Oh. We all witnessed the birth of a new beginning, and now we're each going back to our new present. What is this sad? I'm telling you, bro. Oh, I was not expecting to be sad. We said goodbye to the parts of our stories that would be lost, believing that someday our paths would all cross again. This is a, a good-ass game, bro. It's a good ass game, bro. Wait! Wait, what, what are we waiting for? Oh, before we go back to a new present, I wanted to thank you. Yeah, who the fuck are you? 
Before I cease to exist. Oh, it's you. Yes, it is I, Ray. In case you have forgotten any again. Thanks to you, everything has turned out how how, how I had. Thanks to you, everything turned out how I had hoped. I am really grateful to you, Sissel. Thank you. But don't forget, I was only on a journey to find my own lost memory. Yes, yes, I know that. I know all about you. Can I ask you a question, Ray? I wanted to know, who exactly are you? Yeah, who are you? Fair enough. I will tell you. Let me tell you about another version of tonight's events. Okay? You changed the fates of many people tonight, the first of which was hers. Yeah, we saved her. Bang! <laughs> the goofy ass first first mission. Honestly, this is the first little mission that we had. Right? Lynn's like, oh damn, I need to buy a lottery ticket. If you had not been there for her tonight, her fate would have been to die in that lonely spot in the outskirts of town. If that had occurred, what do you suppose would have happened? I don't know. That's Lynn? Let me tell you a story. The story of a little creature. Of a little creature? After they stole her life that night, they broke into her apartment. Yeah. Are you the rat? <laughs> okay, they come in here. Bang! They shoot the fuck out of missile. They stole the wooden box from the ceiling, hiding the ceiling panel and left. And in the process, did they kill Camilla? Two little dead bodies were left behind. So no ghost trick, right? They don't, they can't ghost trick. However, the little fellow's spirit lived on. He desperately reached out his paw towards his mistress, and that's when a miracle occurred. What? Look at that, the powers of the dead. But how? He didn't really understand it himself. Not yet, anyway. But with all you know now, I bet you understand it. Do you not? Hey, wait a minute. Bang! He was close enough to him that he got a core. That's right. Missile? He died inside the aura of that strange energy. Missile. But unfortunately, with his meager powers, he was unable to save his little mistress. There just wasn't anything he could do with only the power to swap objects. He needed the power to manipulate objects in order to save the little lady. The little fellow chased after the men, but then there still wasn't anything he could do. Are you telling me you're Missile? In the end, he was left behind with the man in red in the deep, deep sea. And then... He went back. He went back to the world of 10 years before, to the moment of this man in Red's death. What? You're jumping all over time and you're making this more confusing, but that's Missile, right? There's no one else it could be. He decided to wait it out. He decided to wait until that night came again. Wow. Okay. And that's the other version of the story of this night. A story that has taken these 10 years to be retold. So that was you, huh? Are you gonna change it to a Pomeranian? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> that's right, I'm Missile. 10 years is a very long time in dog years. You couldn't change the fates of these people on your own. So you decided to wait those 10 years out. Oh. Okay, exactly. And then at last, that fateful night rolled around again. Mm. And you showed us how to do everything. Yeah. By this time, I had grown old and my powers were weak. So I decided I needed to find somebody to help me this time around. And that was me. Mm. Okay. Somebody who possessed different powers than me. But wait a second. You were able to manipulate that desk lamp. Over the course of the long years, my powers changed, my ability to swap objects weakened, but I became able to manipulate small objects. But in that case, why didn't you cooperate with yourself? Because I couldn't. Huh? From watching the man in red, I found out there were individual differences in our powers. I couldn't do any of the things he could do, like travel through the telephone lines, for example. What? It may not seem like much, but it is a very important power, especially if you're trying to chase somebody. But there's something I don't understand. You knew from the very beginning that I had that power. How did you know so much about me? Why wouldn't I? After all, we had met before on that night the first time around. We what? We met before? We did? From listening to the conversation of the two intruders of the apartment, I learned that Miss Lynn had lost her life at the junkyard on the edge of town. So you showed up 
I followed the ghost world past to the junkyard and came upon such such an incredible scene. But I'm bump 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 bump. Miss Lynn is dead there. Right. Imagine if you will, there in the darkness, a twisting and swiveling desk lamp. It made my fur stand on end. I can tell you that that was me. So I was shot on that night the first time around as well. Okay, 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 okay. You had lost your memory that time too. You had just died and you felt confused. You declined to cooperate with me. I did what? I didn't fuck with you? I just want to find my own lost memory. I'm sorry, but I can't help you. That's what you said. And I just bounced. <laughs> okay. Oh, and then I left your ass here. And then you disappeared. Away over the telephone line. I'm really sorry I didn't help you. That's why I decided that this time, I would use that desire of yours to our mutual advantage. Mutual advantage? The only thing you were interested in was finding your own lost memory. If I could guide you along the right path to doing that, we would both benefit. And namely, the right path would be the path to the man in red, to Yomil. What? I gave you the information you needed to know to set you in the right direction. And then I gave you a time limit. A time limit? That's right. As you know, I said you only had until tomorrow morning. If I hadn't done that, you wouldn't have found out the truth tonight. Oh, so you lied to me. <laughs> and the man in red would have been sealed away at the bottom of the sea forever. If that had happened, it would have all been over. Hmm. Then, then you mean that thing about ceasing to exist? Oh, that? Completely made up. A little naughty of me, I know. But I just wanted you to use your time wisely. Oh boy. I hate to admit it, but this little doggy really outsmarted me in every way. Let's just call it the wisdom that comes with age. Oh, missile. Okay. And now it's time to say farewell. These past 10 years will cease to exist, and with them, so will I. Missile, I believed in you. I always knew you could do it. And so, and so you did. Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Missile, so you waited and waited these 10 long years, all for the sake of your two ladies, Lynn and Camilla, eh? Of course, because that's what doggies do. Now then, farewell, Sissel. I fucking love this game. <laughs> and so the story of a single night came to an end. Nobody but us knew what had really happened in this town tonight. Oh my god, it's banging. I made my way back. Back to a new present. Oh. So many things are going to be changed. Ba -dang -dang -dang. Oh my god, what's gonna happen? Huh? How come it's dark? Oh, what's happening? I'll just turn on the lights here. Can I? I'm a cat. Hey! It's Lynn's birthday? Oh, I've seen this before. Lynn, get out the way! <laughs> okay. And then... As long as there's no gun and it doesn't turn around. Bang! Okay, cool. It's them two. Hey, were you surprised? You bet I was. I was nearly scared. You nearly scared me to death. And that's both of us. Yippee, it worked. Hey, but it's not even my birthday today. It was mom's birthday the day before yesterday. I made the surprise for her, but it came out so well I wanted to use it again. Hey, hey, that's all right, Lynn. After all, we're celebrating the birth of your new position as detective, right? Really? Thank you, Detective Chow. Dad, you're home! Hi, Camilla. Let me introduce you. This is Lynn. She was just assigned to the detective division today. I'm pretty sure we know each other. Hi, Camilla. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too, Lynn. Congratulations on becoming a detective. Huh? Is something wrong? You have one of those badges, too. Oh, this? Yeah! I have one just like it. My dad just gave it to me the other day. But yours looks a lot older than mine, though. <laughs> How long are you going to keep wearing that toy badge, Lynn? Yeah, you should probably... What's wrong with it? To me, this is a symbol of a real detective. It's been 10 years since then, hasn't it? Who would have suggested you actually become a detective one day? When you gave me this badge, I just knew. I knew it was my destiny somehow. Destiny, eh? And now that I'm a detective, I'll find out where that destiny will lead me. That you will. That you will. I can't believe it, bro. Oh, hello. Don't tell me you're the same little kitten. That's right. The very one. You know what? This is a very, very special cat. He's 10 years old, but he's still a kitten. Still a kitten? Yep. He never got any bigger or anything. Wow. What a mysterious little fellow. I know, right? His name is Sissel. Sissel. 
Yeah, because I have the fragment in me. Hmm, it seems to me I've heard that name somewhere before. Now you definitely have, homegirl. I think Sissel likes you, Lynn. Hey, hey, she's alive! All right, everyone, let's start the celebration. Okay, mom. Oh, this is sweet. Hey, hey. Oh, I bet you're just like me. Your destiny led you here somehow too. Meow. And so we meet again, Sissel. Oh, this game was great. Come on! For ju from just that single night as a human, I got a glimpse into their world, and I learned something. Oh, what did we learn? Their fates, their lives, they were all interconnected. Somewhere, somehow, in some way. Bum, bum, bum. And now, this is my new fate. Damn. Hey. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, they're fucking up the chicken. I'm getting pets. I guess I really am a cat. It suits me just fine to curl up and watch. Watch the strange and beautiful patterns of their lives as they unfold. And it looks like I'll have plenty to watch here for quite a while. Oh, this game is great, bro. Come on. I don't fucking care. If you didn't give this game a shot as far as watching it, you a bitch. <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh, uh, what's up, Cavanella? And Missile. Happy birthday to our lovely Lynn. Uh, like I said, it isn't my birthday. Dun -dun -dun -dun. What's up, Missile? Hey, Missile, I thought I'd ask you to stay home and guard the fort. But birthdays are for celebrating together with friends and loved ones. Nothing like it, baby. It's not her birthday. <laughs> Whatever. Fuck it. We're just eating missiles here. Where, where's Sissel? Oh, he's up there on the presents. I can't believe it, bro. He's eating spaghetti. The other two are horking down some chicken. This game is great, bro. Like I said, if you didn't give this game a chance, you a bitch. <laughs> yeah, this game is great. I absolutely love this game. Um, if I had to give it a rating, oh my god, the story is great, bro. Story is great. I give it like a fucking nine as far as the story, but definitely not good. Hold on. Uh, maybe now I could be a great detective just like Inspector Cavanella. What kind of example is the inspector providing for his men? Oh yeah, he did the flips and shit as he was coming down. Yeah, story, 9 out of 10. Gameplay, a little simple, right? Like, it, it could get a little complicated, like it's all puzzles basically. Like, oh, you need to do this to move this and all that. But, your shoes are off in a public place, bro. What are we doing? Here's your food, gentlemen. Like, the gameplay loop, I feel like the gameplay loop is fine. Like, it's not for everybody. Trust me, I get it. I, I can see how people won't be into this. But I think the game is great, bro. I personally love the story. I love everything about it. I'm going to give it, like, a 9 out of 10. So you just took on a part-time. I didn't even see what it said. He, she, the, the lady took a part-time. Oh, you have no idea the links I'd go to reach my goals. Sure. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I'm going to give this game a 9 out of 10. I really enjoyed it. Honestly... I just played it on a whim, I saw it on a deal for Capcom games, and I was like, you know what, fuck it. And I'm glad I did. I'm really glad I did. Hey, hey, hey. La la la, I never cooked this way before, so exotic, so exciting. Da da da. Turmeric, coriander, cumin, and uh, fenugreek. Uh, that one took me a little bit. Is this really necessary, this new curry chicken menu item? Oh, but our very best customer requested it. Now, good luck with the taste testing. Ooh, the customer. It's got to be the detective, right? Or Lynn? Oh, boy. I don't think I could eat another bite. Ba -na -na -ba -na -na -ba -na -na. Just who exactly is this very best customer, anyway? Oh. Right. I don't like that guy. I'm going to keep it a buck. That guy kind of scares me. I don't like him. <laughs> I know he's innocent and everything, but I don't like him. He looks a little... I don't know. Something about him. <laughs> uh, if anything else shows up, I'll show it. If not, I'll just skip to the skip to the outro. Okay, there's something else. Are you sure we really need all these explosives? Oh, they're going to die. Not to worry, beauty, my dear. I follow these the instructions exactly. 20 kilograms of gunpowder, just like it said. Oh, they're dead. 
Should we be standing here? Wait a minute, 20 kilograms? I thought it was 20 grams. Yeah. Oh. He don't get to keep that, right? I'm telling you, I don't like this guy. I'm telling you, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't fuck with him. I don't like him. Okay, I'll, I'll, like I said, I'll keep showing them as they go. Okay, oh, it's these guys, it's Amelia and everybody. So this is where you were, this is where you were, huh, Papa? Hey, that's right, sweetheart. Darling husband, don't you have any ideas at all you could give me? For what? You must have heard some juicy stories, the indiscretions of a minister, perhaps. Now, now, must you talk that way in front of our darling angel? Here is to the here is to the stodgy mind of my da my darling daughter, husband. I don't know what that said. Okay, I think that's everybody, right? What is it? We don't know what Sissel's doing, or Yo Meal. Sorry, are these two goobers. Um, 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 um. This deal is going quite well. Oh, I must say, these grapes are quite good, my man. The Yanoa is about to scrape the bottom of the sea, sir. Be forewarned, sir. Damn! He good! Keep it together, man. Are you trying to give me a case of the vapors? I believe I nearly died of fright just now. Okay. What about everybody? That's it, right? That's everybody. I think. Yeah, because the detective, the police commissioner, Inspector Cabanella... Who's left? Oh, yeah, this guy. Love, peace, and pigeons. Long live rock and roll. Oh, the pigeon dude, yeah. Are you gonna extract this thing? You know it's there. Why is the pigeon going over there? Oh, he hanging out. He fuck with the music. Hey, and it's this guy. Would you like a pamphlet? <laughs> Stop the park from changing admission, protecting the rights of those who live here. Hey, hey, hey. I can't believe it, bro. Boom, 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 boom. Oh my god, I forgot about these two. He's still dancing. Today's the day, you know. He's finally getting out. Who? Oh, yo, meal. You know, everybody's starting to get real tired of seeing you do that. And let me show you a new dance that's been passed down in our family for generations. We do this when we have a stomach ache. It, we call it dance away the pain. Is that what we're doing right now? Oh, I'm real interested in that one. Think you could show it to me the next week or something? You got it. I can't believe it, bro. I can't fucking believe it. Smartphone promotion. What? <laughs> hey, there he is. Is he painting the faces so he doesn't forget? You're finally gonna let be let out. Ten long years, yo meal. Your time's up today. The young lady who's always comes to visit you is waiting outside. Oh, it's his fiance. That's sweet. Or is it Lynn? I don't know who it is. The sweet young lady. I would assume Lynn. Thank you, Cecil. Amber, you had to wait in here ten years. What did you draw? <laughs> Oh, you drew Sissel. That's sweet, bro. Come on! <laughs> this game's great, bro. Oh, look at that. That's a cute-ass picture, too. Oh, my God. Look at this. And that's that's the gang. Yeah, this, this is great. Absolutely great. Bum, 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 bum. Banging, bro. Music is banging. That's it, right? That's it. Okay, cool. Like I said, uh, I really enjoyed this game. As far as the story, it's a 9 out of 10. I absolutely loved it. It got me emotional. It made me care about the characters. Uh, Y'all might call me a bitch, but I fucking loved it, right? What's wrong with getting soaked into a story, right? Um, I really enjoyed it. I'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10. I don't fucking care. I had a lot of fun. The puzzles are great. Story was really interesting. I wanted to see what happened to all the characters. The twists were twisting. 
Uh, it had me intrigued. It really did. I was, I really wanted to know what happened. Every time I clicked and, you know, stopped recording, I was like, fuck, bro. I just want to keep recording and see what's going to happen. Um, but I really did enjoy it. And hopefully you guys did enjoy it as much as I did. Um, that's all I got for you guys today. If you did enjoy, as per usual, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on whatever the next gameplay is going to be. Uh, bye, guys.